There are a lot of guys, and let me emphasize this. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of guys want to know, can derma rolling help my beard growth and or help fill in patches and spots where there's no growth at all? Can it create new hairs? Can it wake up dormant follicles? Well, the straight up answer in this kind of lead off summary would be possibly. Now, I'm going to break this down with actual science, real studies, and I'm going to link everything down below. I'm going to give you the peer-reviewed journals that include studies and research, and it includes reviews for you to read and go through at any time. And I'm just going to give you some general information around the topic. And for me, I have zero experience. I've never done derma rolling in my life. I don't ever plan on it, but I do know how to find the information and then relay it to you guys. We're going to get into all that, but first, I do have a welcome and a couple of calls to action if you don't mind. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, we cover everything related to beards. That's truly a goal of mine. I want to hit every possible angle. I cover things that people think are ridiculous and looking into too much detail. Well, this is a passion of mine. I love covering this stuff. My name is Dan C. Bearded. If you are new here, thank you for checking this channel out. I'm a middle school history teacher and I love teaching about beards and content on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and anybody that's returning. Thank you you guys and everybody that is watching right now if you could hit a thumbs up on the video collagen induction therapy also referred to as microneedling and most commonly in the world of beards and facial hair known as derma rolling is a cosmetic procedure that involves repeatedly puncturing the skin with tiny sterile needles now the idea of this was born in 1995 which is not that long ago which would explain why we don't have a ton of research on this but the idea came up when a doctor said, hey, I wonder if I could repeatedly puncture skin in hopes of repairing scars. This began with trying to create new skin and uh, just really get rid of the, the site of scars. If I repeatedly punctured the skin, would it trigger some growth or regrowth or healing properties to that skin? And so what a doctor did was took a tattoo gun, a literal tattoo gun, used no ink and repeatedly punctured the skin. Well, it was about 10 years later in 2006 when they created the kind of take home version which is essentially a handle, a spinning barrel that is covered in different size needles because there are different applications for derma rolling or micro needling. Uh, if you have something like you are trying to repair a scar, that's going to be different than trying to prevent hair loss or to have hair growth or treat something like alopecia. They're all very different. And this by no means is a video on how to go about derma rolling. I am going to put out some interesting tidbits of information, possibly some helpful ones, but if you are going to look into this, please make sure you do your research and find the real information out there. The beautiful thing is there is starting to get really good information out there from doctors, from real studies. That initial theory back in 1995 turns out to actually be true and it does have some real basis in science. What is going on is those needles are creating micro injuries. That's the terminology that they use. And it does trigger the healing process. Now, again, there is so much to this on how you prepare, how you actually do it and how you follow up with it. Some examples would be a month before starting derma rolling. They suggest that you give vitamin A and vitamin C treatments to the skin. If you are doing this at home, you should do it no more than two or three times a week for a total of a hundred times, like when you're passing by. And there's a whole lot more to it you guys like i said we we could make an entire channel there probably are channels dedicated to derma rolling but i just want to make sure you know there are some things you want to kind of look out for do your research i, I don't want to put this video out there and throw caution to the wind and say have at it start poking your face you guys do your research i just want to lay out what i have found on this the big question that you came here for or at least you are just simply curious about does it work well, there are exactly zero legit published studies of derma rolling and beards at the time of this video. None. It's never happened. I think it likely will in the future, as long as there is the money potential behind it. That's how all these medical studies work is, hey, is there a company that thinks they can make money? They're going to fund the studies and it kind of goes from there. The only evidence that we have is anecdotal evidence. And what that means is we get personal experience from people that have tried. Again, I have not. 
The problem with that, I have found all anecdotal evidence in this specific case is very biased on both sides of that coin. On one side, you have a group that really wants this to be true. They want this to be factual, so maybe they skew the results to make it seem like it's working. On the other side, you have a group that wants to make this a scam and make it to be like everybody's out to make money on this, so they make the results seem like it's not working. The problem is you can kind of bend the results in any way you would like, and there are ways way too many factors and variables for us to even consider, right? If you're on the side that you want this to show growth, we don't know what's actually going into that 60 day, that 120 day growth. Could it be your testosterone? Could it be the what you're eating, the water, the vitamins, all the other stuff could be a major factor. Now on the other side, and it doesn't work, it's a scam. Were you actually doing it right? Did you prepare properly? Did you a do the application process properly? Did you post and follow up properly? All of those things are almost impossible to tell what is legit and what is not unless we have a clinical study, a peer-reviewed journal with the results. That's the only way. Now, while we do not have any studies on beards and derma rolling, we do have studies on hair as terms of creating growth and especially even more studies on terms of being able to prevent hair loss. Now, that's the big one, right? All sorts of people, regardless of facial hair, want to prevent their hair loss, men and women alike. So there's real money behind that one. So that is where we see those studies and we do have some real results. I wanna share two main quotes that I've found that really spoke to me from these results and I think it is the perfect summary of all of the information we have right now in terms of derma rolling and hair. Quote number one, microneedling shows some promise in hair growth, especially in combination with existing techniques. Whoo, okay, big stance. Quote number two, home use derma rollers are prescribed to patients using mendoxidil and a better hair growth is observed. One more time, that last part, a better hair growth is observed. To summarize my thoughts, it does seem like there is something there. Now, this is very early in the game. We're talking 15, 20 years. In the terms of science and studies and evidence, that is nothing. That is an absolute blip on the radar, and we are going to uncover a lot more information, like I said, especially if there is money behind this. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated as stuff comes out. But it really seems like we are finding evidence that when you are using derma rollers, in addition to something else, some stimulant of hair growth, they are working together very well. There is no evidence that derma rolling will improve your hair growth or your hair loss when used by itself. There is evidence to say when you use it with something like minoxidil, it's going to make that something, that other thing, work even better. So you could do something like minoxidil, which if you don't know what that is, it's essentially uh, the real thing that is Rogaine, right? Rogaine is the brand, minoxidil is the active ingredient. And you could also use something like what I've showed on this channel to be proven by science to work, combination of something like castor oil and peppermint essential oil. Now, I did not study this, right? I did not physically do the research and I have not read about this specifically, but in my mind, my logic, my experience, what this tells me is if you're using something topically like minoxidil and then you are puncturing the skin over the top of it, it seems like you are getting that medication, you're getting that active ingredient to the source even deeper with the help of that derma roller. Again, I don't have anything to back that up, but it makes sense to me. It sounds logical and I could see why that would be better. So if you're watching right now and you are eager, you really wanna have that improvement, start looking into it. Don't just dive in, don't buy the stuff because you watched this video. Do some research and maybe it's the answer for you. I always encourage people to rock what you got, right? There's somebody out there that wishes they had your facial hair. And then also have some patience. Know that when you have patches, when you have spots, if you want to fill those in, give it time. It will likely fill in as you age. Sometimes not though, but also if you let that hair grow longer, it can cover those patches. But again, I know some of you are like, Dan, you don't get it, dude. You got a full face of beard right there. You'll never understand. You're right. I will not. So if you want to go down this route, keep me posted. If you have experience, leave a comment down below. There's some people probably from the minoxidil and derma rolling community that are watching this right now and they're shaking their heads. They're judging me. They're telling people not to listen to me. That's fine. All I will say is please check out those sites that I have posted down below. Real information, real studies, peer-reviewed journals. Uh, you cannot argue about those results. 
I cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this, and I know a lot of you, it's not for you. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not encouraging you to do this. I'm just laying out some information on one of the most important, one of the most commonly asked questions that I've ever gotten. And I say important because to a lot of people, it's very important. Should I try this or should I not? Mm, I don't know. Maybe this information will help you guys out today. At the very least, I found it interesting, and that's what matters to me. Thank you guys for watching today. Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.